We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Houston Astros. In now, Gio Urshela, and we are set for baseball here this evening. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Down low, two balls and a strike. And this will miss as well, so he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's 3 and 1 now. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. Second. The third base Into the box, Miguel, Miguel Andujar. Andujar. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMay here. He's two for seven the in the series so far. DJ LeMay. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. 3-2 pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Reddick has a read on it. Makes the play one away. And this throw gets away from him. So runners at first and second here with one away. And that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Urshela at second and Duhar at first, one gone. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Chopped toward the second baseman. Altuve with a bare hand. It's in time. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented the runner from having a chance to score. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. His line against Justin Verlander, just a 1 for 12 career line. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. He's set the 3 2. High in the air out to center field. Springer has a read on it. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. Here's Michael Brantley. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Pitches away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. And that's through for a hit. In now, Jose Altuve. 2 1 pitches, a fastball swung on and missed 2 and 2. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Now the Astros designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. The 1 1. Ball two. Two out with the man at first. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. 
And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. So here's Yuli Gurriel. He enters play with an even 50 RBIs to this point. The set and the 1 1. Slapped hard the opposite way. That's in there. Base hit. Bregman is on his way home. He's in at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. The center fielder. To the plate now, George Springer. Hard ground ball to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. At the plate, Carlos Correa. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He was one for four with a two-bagger in yesterday's game. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Giancarlo Stanton goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Three and one to him now. And my goodness, up and in. Very dangerous that time as he dives to the ground. It's ball four. Next for New York, Gary Sanchez. He was hitless in yesterday's shutout loss, as were many of his teammates. 1-1 one, one home is laid off for ball two. A little early and now it's even at two and two. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And he fouls this one off. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Digging in now for the Yankees, Brett Gardner. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Weak rounder back to the mound. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. So here's Josh Reddick, and he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Ball taken there, 2-1 and one now. 3-1. and one. Pretty good pitch right there, fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Striding in for Houston, Garrett Stubbs. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. 1-1. One, one. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Here now the 2-2. Fastball. Didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. Urshela is under it as he puts it away for round number one. Back to the top of the order now, and Michael Brantley settles in to hit at the plate. Three-two pitch. High in the air out towards shallow right. Judge is under it. 
And he makes the catch for the second out. So a runner at first with two away. And that'll bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. Three and one now as that misses down and in. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now a swing by Bregman and a ball hit well to deep left. Stanton looking up, and that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Stepping in now, Jose Altuve. Hit sharply on the ground. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. The batter, number 44, designated hitter, Yordan. At the plate now, Yordan Alvarez. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. Giovanni Urshela, a base hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. High and deep down the left field line. And no one will get this one. Another payoff pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. And he will make the catch while ranging backward as he just put the glove up and hauled it in for the first out. Here's now Miguel Andujar now. Base. Two hits and eight tries Miguel. for the series. And Bases are empty, one man out. High fly ball out to straightaway center. On the move is Springer. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in D.J. LeMayhew. Bases are empty here with two men out. One and two to D.J. LeMayhew. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Bottom of the third now, striding into the box, Yuli Gurriel. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2-2. Two -two. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's the first out. So one away here with the bases empty. And former World Series MVP George Springer bats next. The 1-1 home. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. One out, nobody on. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. The three and one pitch. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two out base runner. 
Stepping in is Josh Reddick. He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. So one one. One ball, two strikes. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Well, his last time out, guys were just flailing away at that slider. But tonight, completely different story. I think their approach coming to the plate tonight was to lay off that pitch until he shows he can throw it for a strike. Outside in a full count, three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Lifted in the air out towards left center. After it is Gardner. He can't get to it. This one's down. The relay. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Standing in now, Aaron Judge. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Next will be the designated hitter, Torres. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. The count now at 2 and 2. Fouled off. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Lazy fly ball out to center field. On the move is Reddick. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Giancarlo Stanton now. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And he is in the second with a two-out double. Now batting, the first baseman, Luke Voigt. Into the box, Luke Voigt. And it's fouled away. He's set, and the one-two pitch. Ground ball, foul down the left side. Another 1-2 delivery. Fouled away. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Now at the plate, Garrett Stubbs. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that brings in the left-handed hitting outfielder, Michael Brantley. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. LeMayhew's got it, and that's the second out. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman, and he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. That last A.B. when he hit the home run, that was a decent changeup. It was down in the zone, but one of the problems when you have a good changeup like this pitcher does, Hitters go up there and they kind of look for that changeup. So he's going to have to locate it a little bit better in this upcoming at bat. Count even at two and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side.
Digging in, Gary Sanchez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. Springer is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. The center field. So the base is empty here with one Brett. away. And up next, the left handed hitting Brett Gardner. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Bases are empty. One man out. Bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are now two away now. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Gio Urshela. He flew out in his last at bat. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. The one-two. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Clears this one over toward first. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Now battle. Third base. Into the box now. Miguel Andujar. And he lays off for a ball. Two and one. And here's a ball hit in the air. Reddick on the run, but this will land untouched. Liner towards second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And this is going to find the wall out around the 373 sign. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. To the plate now, DJ LeMayhew. Just a bit low, a tough call, but it's two and two. Tries to go the other way as this is hit in the air down the right field line. And that's in there, base hit. The runner scores from second, and they inch a little bit closer. It's now a 4 2 game. The right field, number 99. In now, Aaron Judge. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Into the Crawford boxes and gone. Stepping in now, Torres. And he fouls this one off. Four runs here in this half inning. To two balls and two strikes now. Now for four innings, he was great. But here in the fifth, he looks like a completely different guy out there. That happens a lot when a pitcher is facing batters for the second or third time in a game. This one also hit deep to left field. Brentley retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Digging in and looking for more, Jose Altuve. He singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. One ball and two strikes to count. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out. One away. The Next up for the Strohs, Jordan Alvarez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Alvarez. 2 and 2. <laughs> and 
And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. So two are gone for the Astros in the fifth. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. At strike two on a well-placed changeup around the knees. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order, too. Again, he sends it out of play. Both teams with six hits so far. And the sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouled off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Rogelio Armenteros takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 51. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Ready once again, Giancarlo Stanton. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at-bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Misses, ball two. Liner toward right center. And Stanton's aboard. It's a base hit. Now battle. The first base hit. Luke. At the plate, Luke Voigt. Oh. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. All even now, two and two. Four four is our score as we play the sixth. Fouled off. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. It's up and out of here into the archways. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. Very high, two and one. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. And it's fouled away. Oh, and they pulled a string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Here's Brett Gardner now. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Up high. 2 and 1 now. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. This is skied out toward right. Reddick has a read on it. Two gone. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Gio Urshela. So far, two for three in this one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Reddick has a read on it, and that retires the side. Adam Ottavino enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now pitching for the Yankees. Number zero. Here's George Springer. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. 
things not looking very good so far in this one but we're still in the middle innings they're down by a couple of runs and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going the last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning judge moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one so next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa it was a walk in his last trip No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Adovino is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. Judge is back to the track as he takes it for out number two. Now Digging in, Josh Reddick. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, his wheels got him in trouble a little bit last time. Tried to take advantage, thought the defense was napping a little bit. In retrospect, maybe he should have just shut it down. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Coming to the plate now, Miguel Andujar. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. And that misses two and one. That one bends into the zone, a strike on the breaking ball. The 2 2. And he fouls this one off. Another 2-2 offering. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. One gone here in the Yankee seventh. And that'll bring up D.J. LeMayhew. The 1-1. It's a fastball that misses. High fly ball after straightaway center. Springer has a read on it and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Striding forward now the Yankee cleanup hitter Aaron Judge He's working on a one for three thus far. The one one is swung on and missed for strike number two. Thought this middle of the order might give him a fight and put up a little bit of resistance, but that hasn't been the case. He's carving right through them here. Reddick has a read on it. And that ends the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Zach Britton gets the call from the now pen to take over three. on the mound and start the home Number seventh. Three. Back. Stepping in, Garrett Stubbs. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. 2 and 2 the count. Now here's the pitch. Sinker, 3 and 2 now. Yeah, well, down 2. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tied run to the plate. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. The left fielder, so a runner three. at first now with nobody Michael. out. And Michael Brantley Brantley. settles in to hit at the plate. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. A dive and he knocks it down. But they will not get it out on the play as he beats the throw to first and there are two on to start the, the inning now. Into the box, Alex Bregman. All on the ground at first. Can this be two? To second for one. To Voight in time for the double play. At the plate, Jose Altuve. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Altuve. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. 
The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Britton pauses with the payoff pitch. He lays off, and that's outside, ball four. They're at the corners now here with two away. Ben Heller takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. Jordan Alvarez will be the first one to greet him now, as he'll do so with runners at the corners and two out in the inning. Two and one. Heller. A right-hander standing six foot three. He was taken in the 22nd round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Fastball is outside. It's full now, three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And he will crash into the wall, but hold on to it there for the final out of the inning. In now is the Yankees' D.H. Torres. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here now the 2-2. into center field line drive base hit so it's a leadoff base hit to open their half of the eight now back left field. standing in now Giancarlo Stanton filthy change up that time but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance not trying to pick up that outside corner but this misses and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes and he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Now batting. But ready to take his hacks again. Luke Voigt, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Fouled off. The 2-2. Two -two. Gets him looking. Strike three. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. The 3-2 pitch out in front as he grounds this one to short. Reined in. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Now the Cuban import, Yuli Guriel. The 2-1 home. That's a ball. If you're at the plate in this situation, you're only thinking one thing, and that is get on base. You got three balls. It has to be perfect over those 17 inches for you to pull the trigger. A walk is as good as a knock right here. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. The center fielder, number four, George Springer. At the plate now, George Springer. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Miles Strong will come on now and pinch run here. to the plate now Carlos Correa and he gets a piece of it here but it's chopped foul the one two no, that's good. both teams have nine hits on the scoreboard now a fastball inside and he works it back to a full count now do next is Josh Reddick as he gets ready in the on deck circle hit pretty well out toward right center field Gardner going back to the track to the wall and they have taken the lead what a momentum shift right there now the visitors are down there final three outs you can bring your big boy in to close this one out Chet Green is on the pitcher in the eighth with nobody out 
Number 57. Chad. Into the box now. Josh Reddick. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Reddick waiting and now the pitch. Ball left out. Oh, and now this ball's in the air to deep right center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Now that the pitcher. Garrett. Stubbs. At the plate, Garrett Stubbs hit on the ground down the first baseline. And it's a productive first out as that runner is able to advance 90 feet up to third here. So the Houston lineup turns over and to the plate Michael Brantley three runs already home and a potential fourth standing at third base. Now the one and one pitch is looked at for ball number two. Fastball is looked at for strike two. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Now batter. Ready now, the Alex Bregman. Play. Perhaps now he can drive play. another one out of the park just yeah. like he did back in the second. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Okay. Just off the out that time, laid off for a ball. Go, a slider that time that runs away. It's three and one now. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Full count now. Three and two. He set the payoff pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. On the move is Stanton. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Roberto Ozuna comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 54. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner to start things out against Roberto Ozuna, who for his part goes for the save in this one. Fouled away. Oh, and that runs in and gets him. So now the potential tying run is aboard to lead off the inning. Now that at the plate, Gio Urshela. He'll be looking for something he can drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. 2-2. Two, two. Grounded to the right. The second for one. Back to first and a costly at bat there as the possible tying run is erased on the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Last chance for the Yankees. Into the corner and slicing foul. And now this crowd right around 34,000 fans comes to their feet. Line drive to left. But this is taken in as a perfect metaphor to end this one as that ball was hit hard, but the ball game is over. Wow, what a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. 
winners of an amazing seven games in a row. They say to never question the streak, and these guys aren't. They're just enjoying this ride. A tight one, seven to six, the final score tonight. The Strohs cross the plate three times in the eighth, helping propel them to the win. Rogelio Armenteros gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. Roberto Ozuna records the save, his 13th of the year. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special Fans presentation of MLB tonight. Network. Good First night, everybody. Victorious Astros, seven runs, 11 hits. No error. They left seven men on base. For the Yankees, six runs, nine hits. No error. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 45 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.